<sighs> Hopefully this new mic that you can't see but is right above my head is going to make a lot of difference in this tutorial. Hey guys, you're watching Dance Ski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an oil paint effect all in Photoshop. And spoiler alert, it's actually really easy to do. So we're going to jump into Photoshop now. And you can see I've opened up an image of a subject. This can be any image you like. And I'm running the latest version of Photoshop, that's CC 2019. So in Photoshop, if we go up to filter at the top, of course, you know that we've got the filter gallery and we can click on this and we've got lots of different effects. We've got dry brush, we've got paint dubs, we've got paint dabs, 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 however you say that. We've got colored pencil and lots of different effects here. Definitely worth checking out, but we don't have oil paint effect in there. So let's cancel that. And if we go back up to filter and in the older versions of Photoshop, you will find this hovering around here. However, it has now moved. So we can go down to stylize in the latest version and you will see it listed here, oil paint. So we can click this and it will bring up this pop-up window. And we've got this square here and we can pick which part of the image we want to focus on. So I'm gonna focus on the facial features and maybe just zoom this in a bit. And we can click and move this around so we can see the effect applied here without the need to actually go and zoom in. We could zoom in if we want to, so I can press Command or Control and then plus or minus, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC, to zoom in or out. So we can do this as well. And we've got some options here for the brush. So first of all, we have stylization. So the best way to uh, get a feel for how these different options affect your image is to zoom in. Just make sure you've got preview checked and just put them at either extreme, so 10, and then all the way back to like 0.1. So you can see with the stylization maxed out, it does something like this. And then if we bring it all the way down to zero, or 0.1, you can see it looks like that. So then what I can do is put this back at, let's go five, we'll go right in the middle, and then I'll up the cleanliness. So you can kind of visually see the effect that it does have on your image. So I'm just gonna bring up the scale now. So you can see, of course, this is the scale of these brush strokes and having it all the way at the top makes them a lot larger. If I bring it all the way down, they become a lot smaller, a lot finer as well. And we've got the bristle detail. So that would be the brish, brish I can't even speak, bristle of the brush. So we can bring that all the way up. And you can see it becomes much more pronounced with a bit more detail and we can bring it all the way down as well. Now at the bottom we have lighting. So we can actually turn this off. So you still get that oil paint effect just without any lighting hitting the surface uh, of the paint itself or the paint, the simulated paint. And you can check this and you can of course adjust the angle here or enter your own angle and you can adjust the shine as well. So let's crank this up and you can see it becomes uh, all kinds of crazy, very extreme but we can actually bring this down to something like 0.5 and it creates, if I just zoom in there, a much more subtle effect. So these are the controls for the brush. Let's go and actually try and create something that looks pretty cool. So when we first started, if I set everything back, we had something like this, I think it was. Let's uh, put these back up to one. So yours might be different by default, but it was something like this, which is fine if that's what you're going for, but for me, I want something a bit more subtle. So I'm gonna bring the stylization down for this image. And for me personally, I like to bring the cleanliness all the way up to 10. And you can see how it changes the scale all the way up to 10 as well. And the bristle detail all the way up to 10. And then maybe I'll drop the stylization a little bit. And I actually quite like to turn the lighting off. Now, if you want to make the texture on the subject skin, in fact, the texture on the whole image, the oil paint texture, a bit more subtle, you can bring the shine down to like 0.2. So you can see it becomes much less pronounced or you can bring it up if you want to go uh, really extreme. So I'll either go for something like this, which is 0.2, really subtle texture, maybe bring that stylization down a little bit more. So it's just slightly less stylized and a little bit closer to the original 
photo. Or what I can do is turn lighting off altogether. So I think either this, or bringing in a bit of that oil paint texture just give a really nice result. And when you're finished and you're happy, you can actually turn preview on and back off. And you can see exactly how your image has changed. And actually one more thing that I just want to show you quickly is if I cancel this, instead what I will do is I will right click on the background layer of the photo and we'll go duplicate layer. So we're not going to affect the original image. In fact, I'm just gonna turn this off. So we have that original photo, we don't edit it by mistake. And I'm gonna right click on this copy and I'm gonna convert this to a smart object. And you can see it has the little symbol here indicating that it is now a smart object. And what this allows me to do is most of the filters that you can select from this menu, if your layer is a smart object, what it means is that you can apply a filter to it, but that filter remains editable as a smart filter. So if you applied that oil effect like I did just then, that is permanent. You cannot go and change that. You can only go backwards by undoing it. However, if I go down and we'll apply the same thing again. So we'll go down to stylize, select oil paint. Hopefully it's remembered my settings. Nope, it hasn't. So we're just gonna put those in really quickly. Hopefully I can remember them. I believe it was this and we'll go 0 0.2. There we go, great, I've got my effect. Click OK. You can see this is now listed as oil paint. That is a smart filter and it's attached to this layer. So I can turn this off. I can turn it back on. I can double click on the oil paint text itself. It brings back this dialog box for me to go and further edit it. Or what I can do is I can drag this down to the trash at the bottom of the layers panel and poof, it's gone. But I kind of like that effect, so uh, I'm gonna keep it. Rightio, so there we go. There's a look at the oil paint effect all in Photoshop. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions, you know what to do. Drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.